There are three arrangements of La Clamande that I'm aware of for string orchestra. There's this one that we're going to be covering in this episode, which has been arranged by Noah Klaus. There's also another one that's been published by Grand Mesa, which is really good. It's a grade two on the list. It was arranged by Bob Rowitz, and it's a fabulous work. If, if you have a little bit more advanced orchestra and, and you like this content and you want to do a grade two instead of a grade one, definitely go do that one. And there's another one that's about probably like it would be a grade three. It's not on the, on the PML list, but it's been arranged by Thomas Quigley, and I believe it's self-published. It's pretty cool, too. It's an F major. It's got some cool half position stuff. It's got some nice stuff here in third position for the first violins. And I think it's a really cool arrangement, too. I've decided to go over the Noah Klaus arrangement because it's got a lot of history behind it. It was published in 1975. And I always wonder how many orchestras have played this arrangement. And when your orchestra plays it, you're a part of that history and that legacy as well. It was also featured in, in the GAI book series, and it has a connection to Michigan State University with the education program where basically at that time, it was my understanding that they, they had some good orchestra programs, but there were few of them in, in various locations. And then they made a big push to promote music education and, and string education especially. And through works like this, there were more and more quality groups that were appearing and there were more schools that were starting orchestra programs. And it's hard to have a quality group if your school or your school district won't even give orchestra a shot. So the, the legacy that, that this piece of music and others that have been left behind, I think, are really important to where we are now in history and where the state of the industry is in music education. Although it does have some chromaticism, Lac Lamond was rated by Kendor Music as a grade one, and it's also a grade one on the Texas PML. It's about two minutes long. Some groups will go a lot slower and will draw this piece out, but you definitely probably don't want to go too fast because of just the way it's written and you know you just you just want to explore every bit of the phrase. Another cool feature about this arrangement of Lac Le Monde is that it's only three pages for the conductor score. The conductor score has it to where there's a first and second ending so that you only have to deal with three pages, which means less page turns for you as a conductor, which gives you a free hand available to ward off attacking marauders that enter your classroom. This arrangement of Lac Le Monde is under 40 measures long, and all but three of those measures are repeated at some point. The exception are the last three measures, which kind of resemble measure 19, it's kind of been reorchestrated, developed, and then concluded here. There's also absolutely nothing on the E string, which helps to develop students putting weight down on, on their bigger strings. And it also has a piano accompaniment part, which might be good for less advanced groups to help uh, with the pitch. Lac Le Monde is an iconic Scottish folk song from the 18th century. And I think vocal music translates very well into string ensemble. I think the reason for that is they're both homogenous in nature. You know, in a, in a choir, everyone's singing, and in a string orchestra, everyone's playing a string instrument. And so you get sort of that unitambral effect. And I think those translate very well. Now, there are things when you go from a vocal piece of music to a string orchestra piece of music, there are some things that get lost, particularly the text. Now, I read the text for this, and I don't understand half of it, and, and maybe it's because I'm not very bright, but at least I know that the word take has an E in it. But there are some advantages to playing this with a string orchestra. 
You don't have to plan out where to take a breath. The bow can just go and you can do things with the phrase that you may not be able to do in a vocal ensemble as effectively. So there are some opportunities here for, for you to extend phrases and do things that you couldn't necessarily do in a, in a vocal arrangement. Klaus's arrangement of Locke Lamond is a great teaching piece and I think that's why it's withstood the test of time. Been around for almost 50 years. There are a lot of opportunities to learn bow control, a lot of opportunities to learn about phrasing and phrase structure. There are plenty of opportunities to learn vibrato and motion. The more you program pieces like this, the more it's going to help your orchestra program because they're going to develop the fundamentals that are required to play those fast pieces, except they're going to be with better tone and they're going to be more in tune. At this point, there are probably some skills that you're working on with your orchestra students in class. You might learn, be learning about different fingering patterns, and I think this piece is great for teaching the difference between the major or two, three finger pattern and the minor or one, two finger patterns. You might be teaching your students about slurs. You might be teaching your students about bow lifts, phrasing, dynamics, even working on developing that precise intonation. This arrangement of Locke Lamond includes all of those techniques and you can approach them in a practical way so that the students are learning the techniques and then applying it to their concert music, which makes this piece a winner every time. In the next few videos, we're going to be going over some of the techniques that are in Locke Lamond and how to teach those alongside this piece of music. You're probably already working on them in the classroom anyway, but this will just be a good complement to what you're already doing in the classroom. Hope you enjoy this video series.